Hi, I'm Nicoletta Lambertucci and I'm the Contemporary Art Curator at The Box. I'm here with Jenkin Van Zyl on the occasion of his first solo show at De La Santi titled Surrender. We are here to do a little walkthrough. We are going to be talking about um, the exhibition, which is divided in three chapters. Um, it has a proper narrative and we are at the beginning of it. Although, as to quote the, the film in the show, there is no real beginning or the beginning can look very much like the end. And I was wondering if there is a way to enter, how would, can we ever be prepared to enter this project? I'm interested in, I've, I've always been interested in kind of medieval hellmouths and this idea of like the gaping hole that becomes a, a hole through which there's another hole and then and another hole that, that leads you through this like kind of bottomless uh, free fall. And I think the film has this strange kind of sense of yearning that, that, that leads us through. One of the, the kind of primary references and, and um, source materials that I was looking at in the, the research for this project was um, Japanese love hotels and this idea of short stay, kind of fantastical spaces. I like how those pipes uh, really resemble some kind of internal nervous system. And of course, now that we have entered the mouth, um, of the rat, we are inside the belly, or certainly the body. I think it's a nice way of putting it, because in the film, they're used as a, a means of, of messaging delivery um, with canisters that are shot through the, the tubes. Um, but they're, they're originally, so they're, it's a pneumatic tube system that we've repurposed. Um, and originally, they would have been used in things like department stores as a, a means of cash carrying. They would have been made to the precise diameters of, of this building that they were in, but obviously like reconfiguring them here and, and kind of remixing them is kind of thematically referenced in the film in this idea of the Rat King, which is um, a kind of cryptid law of um, how rat's tails in a burrow or, or in, a, in a kind of den might fuse together um, in the process of trying to stay warm. Um, we are now sitting on this very comfy bed <laughs> that I really like. And I think we see these beds very much in the, in the film too. Well, if you can talk a little bit about where this film sits within your work, but also going back to this idea of community. The character takes place over seven days in the Peep Hotel, which is a kind of fictitious hotel that um, is built around a ballroom and, and some constructed hotel room sets that, that sort of circulate around it in a panopticon. Um, and the lead character, Grace, spends, or like kind of checks into the hotel but never checks out. So the film loops into itself in this kind of perpetual seven days. Um, and the narrative is sort of propulsed forwards by her sense of yearning or this kind of strange possessed drive that she has. And it's unclear whether that drive is for kind of a sense of escapism, like a desire for community, a desire for oblivion, a desire for uh, victory in this marathon. One of, one of the key things that I was interested in um, was this idea of the sense of self and how that interacts with the binary of the other and then how that interacts with the sense of community or a group. Um, and so in the film, the, the Grace, as she checks into the hotel, gets assigned a kind of doppelganger. They kind of have to compete as one person in this um, increasingly bewildering set of trust building exercises in, in the ballroom. Um, and so this ballroom floor becomes at various points a like hamster cage, a kind of treadmill, uh, a labyrinth, uh, a kind of prison cell, um, a dan like a, a, a like dance floor of a club. Because one of the references um, that you mentioned in the film, and there are many in there, uh, are these um, dance marathon mm -hmm. from the beginning of the century in America. America was obsessed with this idea of uh, endurance in public. So people would do like kind of ridiculous things like standing on flagpoles for, for weeks on end or um, other things like uh, hot dog eating competitions. I mean, it's still things that you see now. 
and they started off like a bit more um, sort of ridiculous or, or like as, as like light entertainment. But as the depression kicked in in the 30s, they became sort of quite um, like grueling feats of public endurance and also like a place for people to stay and eat and get fed and um, uh, kind of have a blanketing from the like economic hardships of, of the decade. Um, and so I was interested in them in this kind of blurring of um, spectatorship, suffering and endurance um, and entertainment. Towards the end of the film, there is a winner and a loser. And that's where we find ourselves now surrounded by trophies and other elements such as the energy drink uh, and we are in this sort of liquid space where that kind of um, duality or binary system of winner-loser or um, kind of hyperactivity production and exhaustion mm -hmm. gets kind of completely blurred. Mm -hmm. Most in the film is to kind of collapse like binary oppositions of front and backstage, success and failure, uh, self and other, um, uh, kind of repulsion and desire. Um, and I always like to kind of set up certain things to so something that is like super repulsive and disgusting and then to kind of flip that over and, and, and make it like really beautiful and attractive again. And I think that, um, yeah, like I like the way that you put it, that the space kind of collapses this idea of productivity and, and failure um, and and this is also the point at which the whole kind of nervous system or intestinal tract of the the tubes have have kind of reached their destination points and they're spitting out these canisters um, with contracts um, held within them inside the the trophies of the films and then we have a little asshole at the um, carved into the the window in the window that you can kind of view the insulation from so we've reached the kind of back of the the, um, the body of the rat. And also like the, the kind of inversion of the mirror floor reveals this um, large smoke drawing that's done on the ceiling that, um, that has the title of the work in that says Surrender, which also mirrors a, a moment in the film in which Grace kind of carves out like a, it's described like a kind of personal chemtrail, her name and, and surrender like into the ceiling of the hotel room. Um, so we have that kind of echoed as a last, a last element here.